Every year, people gain one to two pounds of weight, the average American. But what we found was just gaining a little bit of weight, 5%, which, for example, for a 150-pound man is about 7.5 pounds, and for a 130-pound woman, about 6.5 pounds. Just that little bit of weight was associated with abnormal changes in the heart muscle and structure and function and a risk for heart failure later on. So we looked at data from 1,200 individuals from the Dallas Heart Study, which is a study of healthy people without heart disease, and we did MRI scans with a baseline and then seven years later we repeated them and linked changes in their body fat and weight with changes in muscle structure and function. With weight gain the heart muscle gets bigger and thicker and the chamber of the heart gets smaller so less able to accommodate blood and less able to pump blood forward and that can cause changes that can result in heart failure which is a big epidemic now in the United States. And the heart really is very dynamic and can change with these small changes so everything makes a difference. What we're doing actually now is digging deeper and trying to figure out if it's overall weight gain that has a bad effect or is it fat that accumulates in specific areas of the body so for example fat that accumulates in the abdomen around the internal organs that's called visceral fat that might have a more detrimental effect than fat around the hips and the buttocks which actually can be protective of cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and cancer. It's very hard for many people to lose weight. Even preventing weight gain and maintaining weight stability over time can have a beneficial effect.